in a more incredible way than you could imagine. But that costs like 80 or 90 dollars for like a small small amount so you, you've got to be very frugal with that oh no <laughs> no she says right well we'll yeah. if, hey, hey, ten thousand on a painting and sell it for 300 <laughs> if it makes a difference that's all that matters but uh we deal you know it depends on the country like chroma here on Granville oh, Island, they make their own. This is it. That's and, another big issue. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. Where you buy the best paint and where yeah. you can get the best quality and the and, price and everything. But Bosner you know. in Paris. Bosner is, is a German, German company in Paris. Germany. And they have some really great, great yeah. colors, you know. And you can't get the gold like that anywhere oh, else. They have four or five different types of gold, different uh, wow. intensities. Here, you're lucky if you get yeah. one. Yeah, good you can't one, get you know. it. And. Yeah. Spain again is different. Spain uh, is good as well for certain. Yeah, certain types colors. Of paint, yeah. It's crazy. Spain so, is good for canvas. They have really excellent canvas. But also, mm. Chroma had the uh, crackle, didn't they? Like, oh yeah, they and have. You this, can't get that anywhere. There's else. a special material you can put over the top of paint, uh, and it, it cracks. It looks like an antique. Yeah. It's like an antiquing look. That's also fascinating. Yeah. Yeah, and so. Um, and a lot of these paintings, a lot of these recent ones, these large ones, are very sort of central. You know, the focus is on the centre of the of the piece. They're not they're not an abstract in yeah. that those abstracts that are very flat. Right. Your these recent ones of yours are very like a like a There's town a or, or a settlement or something. Where yeah, but the the, the interest well, is in the middle yeah. more yeah. than I guess that's because you're piling up paint and that's part of a sort of physical side of the whole thing. I guess yeah. well, the, the interesting thing is I'm doing a show in Dubai with that particular style. I'm taking two or three large paintings to Dubai in that style. And then I suddenly thought, I wonder what Dubai looks like from space. I tell you, it looks a and bit I, like that. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. I was quite surprised how yeah, it much does. it is like that style. I thought, well, wow. You know, if I, but you can't really pick out the buildings, but you can see the general feel of it. You know what I mean? It's almost like it's almost too far away. You know, I'd like it to be halfway. <laughs> but it's it's funny because they they it, as I said, it reminds me of those photos, those photos of sort of estuaries in the middle of Africa that no or yeah, Siberia yeah, or yeah. something yeah, that's only that's taken right. by a satellite yeah. that no one can get to, and there's weird colours and oils mixing with other things. But you, you mentioned how you start off the painting. Do you, does it is it a bit like having a sort of a program in your brain that you start and you decide, well, this one I'm going to do X plus two is this and da da da, and I'm going to see how that works. Or, or do you actually do you actually have a, a visual picture of a basic black mixed with a thing of white? Is there an actual visual yeah. thing, or is it more of a uh, methodical idea at the beginning? Yeah, I, I choose beforehand whether I want it to be an intense painting mm. with lots of darks and shadows, or whether I want it to stay light and airy. Uh, and that way you have to start from the beginning with those ideas. Otherwise, you, you'll get halfway through and you won't be able to change it, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think I think with some of the styles, some of the some of the smaller ones I do, uh, I have to be, it's easier to do small work than big work, you know, as in this particular style. <laughs> mm. With big ones, you know, I've got plastic all over the floor to stop the paint going everywhere. Yeah. And I also have to make sure that I'm controlling it with the size of it. It's hard, you know, lifting them up and bending. It's a physical thing. I mean, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah. a, it's like a workout. Yeah, you're lucky. Though. The smaller so, ones are easy. You just hold it in your hand and move yeah. it up and down. But when you're doing something that's seven foot long by six foot wide yeah. or five foot wide, but, it's really yeah. a, a physical thing, lifting it and turning it and twisting it and making it work so the flow goes the right direction, you know. Well, there's often small ones that are so amazing. Uh, you know, I say, oh, oh my gosh, you got to do this. Way. That's right. Yeah, try and, and do and the small Paul's one. Always, big is not the he same. Can, he can do it, but uh, it's not uh, easy. He always says, oh, not possible. It's always to make it look possible. the same but larger. You know, <laughs> and that's where you are now. You do the big, yeah, and they well, are wonderful. It's working out sometimes. It works out good. You know, the, there's two living passion. They're called on the site as well, and they're small. Well, one of them yeah. is. One of them is only 60, oh, 60 inches. Is that right? No. Yeah, a metre and a half. Yes. That's 
relatively yeah, yeah. small yeah. for you, yeah. but that's small, yeah. yeah. And they're 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 yeah, wonderful as well, and blues and reds and is that still yeah. it's the same sort of you thing? Can do it with, well, you know what? It's hard when you're working with lots of colours in this style. It's more difficult. Yeah, it's easier to work with monotones uh, because then you can you can create a, a composition that's very pleasing. You know what I mean to everybody. Whereas when you're working with a lot of colour, then you, you you get mixed up with the colour too much rather than the composition. And sometimes the colour itself maybe blends across with mixing with the wrong colours, and especially if you're using primary colours instead of, you know, certain... If you use just one colour or two, it's not so bad. Yeah. But I've tried, tried it with, like, a, a rainbow of colours. Then it becomes a, a rather complicated in the end. You well, know? you can see the paintings like uh, the ones which... Are, they're not completely abstract or, or they're different. I don't know what style you'd call them, like something called interperspective on the website, which is more uh, yeah. of pattern making. And it seems, I don't yeah, know how you, yes, how you approach yes. something like that. It has circles, it has squares, it has almost yes, faces yes, yeah. or eyes or something. Yeah. And it almost yeah. looks like it's derived from some of your mask work in some way. It's difficult to understand, but that is a different yeah, that is, kettle that of fish. Is more or less creating a pattern that's a bit like doing yeah, yeah that's right with with a palette knife plus uh, circles and my yeah they used to call we it didn't the, know, we, we the didn't dip, know what dip, kind dip of style. name either the dip I, dip I, dip style. yeah because i'd move a palette knife across the canvas by yeah, just take, taking it off and on about a thousand times you know dip, 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 that's like a that. mix of colors and what it does well. is it breaks up the pattern and breaks up the color in cross hatching and things like that, you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's more or less uh, spatula. A lot of a lot of work. Uh, sometimes I, instead of using my palette knife, I'll have a piece of cardboard that's <laughs> like, you know, maybe two feet long, and the edge of it becomes the palette knife. So that way, I put four colors on it, and then I cross hatch all the colors. So it becomes like yeah. a pattern. You're creating it is a like pattern, a mosaic, yeah. like a mosaic. Yeah. 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 Actually, within that particular style, that's what happens with each style with Paul, because he even within a style, he wants to go several directions. So all of a sudden you have it, it starts off sort of simplistic and then. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful! Well, yeah, Do another well, yeah. one. But the next one, well, you discover all, a new style. Yeah, you know, this goes, is, that's the interesting thing about experimenting with abstracts is you never know what you're really going to turn out with, and and you might have mm. created something completely original and different again. You know what I mean? Yes, yes. And just by pushing the limit, you push the edge. You know, you push all the time. You're pushing as an artist, anyway. But but I think with abstraction. Uh, it's 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 a little bit of having control, but also not having control. If you know <laughs> what I mean. Yes. It's, it's, well, this is the mm. same idea as controlling an accident. You let it freely do its thing, but you try to guide it a certain way. And then sometimes you don't want to guide it at all. You just want to let it do its own thing, and then look at it afterwards and see what's happened. You know. Well, yeah. this is what makes it exciting. Right, every day, you know. Well, Joanne's usually in her office, and then when I'm painting, she, after about an hour, she comes out and she stands at the door and goes, Wow, don't do any more, stop right now. And I go, Wait a minute, no, 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 I've just started. started. I, 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 no, no, don't do any more, you'll ruin it. <laughs> what happens at that point, usually? I ruin it. <laughs> it continues. I continue. I take well, it in her of... mind, I've ruined it, but in my mind, it's better, obviously. He can't help himself. <laughs> Uh, he has the con- artist anyway, Joanne. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm okay. the critic. Easy. Uh, uh, what what happens? Is there any that ever go wrong, and that, and you just have to you just have to bin it? Never, or never, never, no, no. never. No. Wow. No, never, never no, thrown out. I, if, never thrown out one. If piece I don't of paper, like something, can in a, I just a lifetime. change it a bit? You know, make yeah. it so I do like it. I mean, it's not like it's not like there's a hole in the canvas or anything. You know. Okay. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. Okay. And paint covers I mean, paint, you know. You can go over one colour with another colour any time you want. <laughs> this is it. I've heard of, I don't know about 
during the uh, impressionist period, if they threw out anything, I wouldn't think oh, so. Oh, I hear people saying they throw you hear, out. But, but I don't know how professional they are. I, I think professionals that you keep everything. Sometimes the ones that you don't like are the ones that... Are uh, the best, yeah. yeah people love At a later them. day. I'd imagine with those sort of... Um, Maybe with action paintings, if something goes doesn't work, yes. that has to be binned, I suppose. You know, if you're jumping on a canvas or something or whatever, if something... Well, tech- I just paint tech- over it. Yes, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. I never yeah. throw it out. I mean, mm. yeah. your, your stretcher bars and your canvas cost money, so you don't <laughs> yeah, want to throw anything true. out. That's right. Yeah. 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 He's never even, I don't know... Never contemplating throwing yeah. anything out. Yeah. But... It's interesting yes, for the general exciting. public, I think, yeah. to, to know about that sort of thing. Goes into the family collection. <laughs> they get the, they yeah, get the, the, the off. <laughs> <laughs> the one offs, which will be the best. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, what about this? Um, your incredible son-in-law, Mr. Matthew Mayo, who is the the husband of your of your daughter Tala. He is a many is a, is a, a many winged creature, many talented uh, human being, and uh, he is one of your. Uh, he he has a sort of gallery as but as long as well as being a um, an estate agent, right. extremely successful estate agent here, he, he is a gallery sort of owner, I suppose, and and keeps exactly, your paintings. Yeah. He he is is he was is always asked Tala the question of what is you know what is the mind's state during these paintings, and is it to what extent is it conscious? what you're doing and 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 what i was reading about juan miro who who was doing autonism or autonomism autonism i think it is who uh-huh. who uh, would paint and it would come from somewhere else and would feel i don't know he would trust his instincts or trust physical things or or, or subconscious mm-hmm. feelings to what to what extent yeah, when you're painting do you do you uh, are you completely control you're completely in the time, or do you find yourself uh, sort of uh, zen-like yeah, every time, or how, how does it feel? Say. I mean, some artists say they, you know, at night they dream things and, you know, recall it or whatever in the morning and, 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 and paint what they've thought or dreamt that night or something. I I, I don't. I, I'm awake. <laughs> I, I, know, I know exactly what I'm going to do, so I can remember it because I'm awake when I'm thinking it. <laughs> But no, it's a, for me. It's, it's 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 sometimes I look at a canvas, and I really aren't sure what I'm going to do first of all. But then I, I reflect on what it is I want to achieve, and sometimes just out of the blue, the idea comes to me to do something, and it's it's either from my imagination or, or from maybe some deep thought process. I'm not sure, you know. Maybe my wife. I think she gives me Maybe inspiration. Do. Well, we we yeah. do talk about she's digging, subject digging matter. me in the ribs here, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, she she is with, obviously a source of inspiration always, and sometimes she well, lots of times she gives me ideas, you know. You're very much in the in the present, in the there and now. You're not in some sort of. Uh, trance-like uh, zen state when you're painting <laughs> no, not to be disturbed absolutely. that's not no, the way it works absolutely. for you and they're no, very conscious thoughts and it, it, it comes no. from probably a wealth of your uh, i guess painting well, I mean, every I mean, day I mean, as well you you know what I, I'm, with I'm, children, I'm in it so deeply kids, yeah. that i can be halfway through a painting right into it yeah. and all i can hear is put the kettle on for a cup of tea. And so I have to go in the kitchen and well, put the kettle on. I'm doing my, my very important <laughs> so, work. So let me put it this way. I have, I have never felt ever that I'm being no. disturbed. Ah, because yeah, that's Nothing bothers yeah. a guarantor. Yeah, I never would say, leave me alone, I'm in the middle of oh, something. Oh, never. Well, I that's interesting, yeah. You'd, you'd imagine that yeah. a lot of, say, say writers or people would... would they yeah. go to their shed and they do not want to be yeah. disturbed. No, yeah. no, no. You know, yeah, we've heard maybe of painting is different, CNN. but you know. Yeah, I got CNN on in the background and my wife telling me to put cups of tea on, and you uh, know, hey, and nothing we had... interferes with me once I'm starting to paint. And you could, and you could have a conversation whilst you're painting. Oh, or yeah. Not? oh yeah, of course. of course. Yeah, really. Wow. It's, you know what? My hands are doing yeah. the work. Yeah, nothing. Uh, I, I, they almost work on their own. Nah, this sometimes. is it. This is interesting. See. Perhaps a bit like Miro in in that they have not a life of their own, but it's years and years of 
of practice and doing this that they yeah, they, they, but, they but know, you know what they're uh, up to. And it's it's just who you are. It's Paul's personality. He's like that from day one. And can you imagine, like, people always, oh, now babies and good grief. I, I was an only child. I said to Paul, like, in 70, 